doing another nail tutorial and this one's actually inspired by Harry Potter and I was you know sort of like motivated to do a, a nail tutorial for the Harry Potter movie because of um, this woman on YouTube who does amazing nail tutorials nothing compares to hers I swear like my design is like stick figures compared to her Mona Lisa but yeah, her name is Robin Moses, and I'm going to put a little link over here somewhere so you guys could check out her page and check out her Harry Potter inspired nail tutorial. Um, but yeah, I want to show you what my nails look like, and they look like this. So I did a different nail design on every nail. I did, of course, Harry Potter scar, and I just set it out those little dots just for sparkle. And then I did Hedgewick, and I put an H and a P for Harry Potter. And I actually did Argyle underneath the... H, but of course, all of the argyle got covered up because I decided to put the letter. But yeah, and I also did the snitch, the golden snitch with the sky in the back. And it's uh, pretty simple. It took me a little while just because you had to like, um, like use a lot of colors. So what I did was I used my nail art brush, which is actually um, stored away. But yeah, I just used my nail art brush and I used. Uh, a whole bunch of colors, so I'm not going to mention to you guys which colors I did use, but what I can say is that I used Seche Vite and Seche Clear base coat and top coat, which is what I always use. So yeah, stay tuned if you guys want to see how to do this, and give me a thumbs up because it's, it's like, just scroll down that mouse and just, oh, okay, see you in a sec. So I've already painted my nails uh, the colors I need and now I'm taking a little bit of red nail polish and I'm creating a diamond pattern on my green nail. This diamond pattern is used a lot in most of the paperback covers for the Harry Potter books. You could do this in any color you'd like. Now I'm taking my nail art brush and applying a white nail polish to my light blue nail creating clouds and a circle for the stitch. Now I'm going to continue drawing that H and P for Harry Potter on my both my middle finger and my index finger. I'm using white just to make sure the gold pops when I apply the gold color on top. And now I'm just defining the letters a little bit, going in with a purple with my nail art. Now I'm going to be drawing the face of Hedgewick, so I've taken a paper plate and I've applied random colors like gray, black, white, and gold. And I'm just creating that shape by painting it. So practically just using that paper plate as a palette. I'm going to draw Hedwig's beak and make sure to apply some gold nail polish onto the beak so that you can know what um, it is. Next I'm just filling in the HMP with a gold nail polish from China Glaze. Now I'm going back in with the white because I decided to move the snitch to the front of my nail. And I'm applying some gold nail polish right on top. Same one I used for the H and the P. And I'm creating that little circle as a snitch and with the white nail polish I'm going back in to create the wings of the snitch. And of course black just to create a little bit of detail which the snitch has in the movie. Now taking a light gray, I'm going to apply that to the wings of the snitch just to create a little bit of definition and detail. Now I'm going to take a color from Absolute, a gold one, very shimmery, and I'm creating a thunderbolt or um, Harry Potter's scar on my thumb. I'm taking a black nail polish with a nail art brush from Milani. I'm just defining that shape, just creating a border around the thunderbolt scar, whatever you want to call it. Now going back in with that uh, absolute nail polish, the really gold shimmery color that I used on my thumb for the thunderbolt, I'm going to apply that on top of the golden eyeshadow, or the golden nail polish I used on uh, the H&P, just to add a little bit of more shimmer. Now 
And I'm taking that same gold nail polish I used previously and I'm creating little dots all over the remaining part of my thumbnail. You could just add this for a little bit of extra fun. Now going with, in with a thin brush and a black nail polish, you're going to make a border around the H and P just to define the letters a little bit more and make them pop. Now just clean up your nails and apply a top coat. Now you have fun Harry Potter themed nails appropriate for the release of the last movie. Thanks for watching. Bye.